Hey guys, what's going on? And as always, I'm starting with a view to the ground because that means stuff is missing. And that would mean that there's quite a few cars that are missing, actually. Uh, so today, well, oh, what is this thing? Why does it have my license plate on it? Huh. What the heck is that thing? And why is it in the yard? Well, we know the Suburban. Well guys, a lot has happened behind the scenes that I haven't been making videos on. And in one way I apologize, but in another way I don't. Uh, the reason why I wouldn't apologize is because one, it doesn't get many views, and two, I just been so crunched on time to get stuff out of here in and out that uh, I haven't really had time to really pick up the camera and make a good quality video. So, I wanted to get you guys at, at the very least an update of what's going on. So, the, my last video with the Regal was sitting here. Well, the Regal is fine. It's in the tent right now, so that's fine. Didn't get rid of that. Uh, or the Camry wagon. This thing I just picked up about a month ago now. Uh, this is a night sorry, 2000 Lexus ES300, otherwise known as a fancy Camry. And uh, it's now my daily driver. Uh, I got rid of the 09 Impala that sold. I also, what was sitting here before in the other video, was the cop car, the 06 Impala. That's also now sold. So if you guys were looking for videos on that, well, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> it just, uh, happened so quick and I said I gotta get this thing out of here and I made a quick good profit on that so that was good uh, I bought this thing and I originally wasn't gonna put it on the road and then you know uh, I said you know what screw it I'm gonna put this on the road I'm gonna take the Impala off I sold the Impala just yesterday and uh, now I got a decent amount of cash in my pocket so I'm a little bit more comfortable than I was before I'm not gonna lie I was kinda hurting for money and I just needed to get stuff out of here so I hope you guys understand and I know that these videos don't get that kind that good of views I'm mostly on this channel anyway because I keep on mentioning a new channel it is coming but these kind of videos on this channel this demolition derby channel just don't get a good of views and that's not what this channel is really meant about about that's not what I really wanted about I really would like this channel just to stick particularly particularly to demolition derby so enough about rambling on what about this Lexus so this Lexus has 193,000 miles I bought it for 900 bucks not too long ago um, and it's an okay car uh, honestly uh, kind of raggier than I uh, thought it was um, it's got I don't know if you guys can see that now you can I think you can uh, the windshields all cracked and and so it needs a new windshield. You can't pass inspection with a cracked windshield in New York, or at least not like this. Um, you can get an inspection with the only a little crack, I believe, if it's only a little bullseye type crack. Um, so this interior cleaned up pretty well. It was very filthy. Like I said, I've done a lot to this car behind the scenes. Uh, I changed timing belt. Uh, this is a 3.0 V6. From Toyota, your regular Camry V6, nothing really special about this motor at all. Uh, it's just a, you know, badge. <laughs> the badge is actually all messed up. There you go, there's the Lexus badge. Um, had to put a newer alternator on it, or I should say, actually this is older than the alternator was on it. The alternator that was on it was almost a brand new alternator and it already had failed on this car. I also had to put an AC compressor in it. I just got a used one from the junkyard. And now it needs a knock sensor, so that's lovely. Uh, <laughs> if anybody knows these cars, a knock sensor on these is a pain in the you-know-what on these cars. Just a complete nightmare. You need to take off the upper intake, the plenum, and then the lower intake, and then you can access the uh, knock sensors and also the wiring harness which also fails on this which 
on these, which I can imagine probably is the problem, if I were to guess, but maybe it is just the knock sensor, but I'm going to replace both knock sensors, and I'm also going to replace the wiring harness, because I just don't want to be back in here. Now, I do not plan on having this car for a long time, but I want to make sure it's right. Motor mount was replaced not too long ago, uh, so that's good. Um, let's see, what else have I replaced? Obviously, all the timing uh, components have been replaced on this thing. I filled this thing up with power steering fluid, and let's see, it looks low again, which is kind of disturbing. I think the rack might have an issue. Uh, or it's just leaking out of the rack and pinion. Transmission is okay, except for when the check engine light comes on for knock sensors, it disables overdrive, so I was driving up to uh, a decent amount of ways away, and I lost overdrive because the check engine light came on, and, and I was driving it, and I realized I had no overdrive, so I got really pissed because I thought I had lost overdrive, and I called my father, and he said, hey, I said, hey, do some research into what's going on here. And uh, he said, if the check engine light is on for knock sensors, it will disable overdrive, which is really stupid in my opinion. But that's what it did. And I cleared the codes on the way there because I had a scanner with me. And uh, sure enough, overdrive was back. <laughs> so not a huge issue. Uh, but the good thing is it's got a good air, air conditioning now, right? <laughs> So, kind of a piece of crap, but it's not terribly rusty, and, you know, it's a Lexus, so I should be able to just fix this thing up. I gotta place all the tires on it, because they're all bald and crap. Different sizes, it's awful. But, uh, yeah, I'll get this thing fixed up, and then sell it. Um, and that's only the Lexus, guys. I know I've gone for almost a whole video just on the Lexus, but we're gonna actually go swing over to this 2006 Buick LaCrosse. This is actually my older brother's car, and this car is rough, to say the least. Uh, yes, we are gonna sell it, but uh, I'm gonna sell it for pretty cheap because, uh, I mean, a lot works on it. It's just the car's, car's in pretty rough shape, and you'll see that as I go through this thing. I'm gonna clean it up and try to get at least most of the tree sap and stuff off of it and bird crap. Um, and rims are beautiful. These are actually not the original rims that were on this car, but uh, like I said, this thing's just rough. <laughs> yeah, it got hit in the driver's door actually by my mother. That was kind of funny. Um, the back bumper is matte black. It's been like that since he got the car. Um, so, yeah, this car, it, it's rough. It's a CXS. It's got the 3.6 in it, believe it or not. It's got the 3.6 dual overhead cam motor in it. I'll show you guys that right now, which these were less problematic than what was in your, you know, traverses and stuff because I don't think they had the timing issues. I still think they had issues, but they weren't as bad as what, like, say, the traverse is with the timing issues speaking of traverse with timing issues um so yeah i mean it's been a good car for him uh you know it's it's gotten him from point a to point b but eventually it just became more of a headache than it did a good car and so now it's in my yard because he bought another lacrosse uh that time this time with a 3.8 in it and uh it's been driving that it's a good car and uh, I said, hey, he was just going to scrap this. And I said, you know what? There is still life left in this car. And right now in today's market, um, you know, people are looking for cheap cars to get from point A to point B because used cars are so expensive. So I'm probably just going to list this thing up for cheap. The worst part of rust on this entire car is actually this strut tower, which is actually kind of concerning because it's rusting around the firewall. Luckily, on the other side, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, I've looked underneath the plastic paneling and stuff, and I don't see anything coming through there. So, it's not terrible, terrible yet. You can see it's rusting there, too. Luckily, it's not rusted all along here too bad, um, and it's still relatively solid over here. So, I think maybe this car has another, you know, year or two in it, uh, maybe at the most. Um, I'd spray the crap out of that with some anti-rust type whatever you know fluid film 
rust cop, um, or anything you really want to use, really. Anything, something's better than nothing. There's coolant in it. Uh, he made sure not to put Dex Cool back into it, um, because death cool. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's been a pretty good car for him. It's not been the best car, but it's certainly not been the worst car I've ever seen. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and start it up for you guys. Let me go ahead and start it up. I know I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit rough in this video. I know I haven't even shown you the passenger side yet. And the interior is pretty filthy, but I'm going to be cleaning it up actually today. And, uh, at least it smells good, unlike most of my project cars. Uh, relatively recent. It does knock a little bit when you first start it. I think that has to do mostly with uh, sitting for a long period of time. Uh, these motors like to knock when they first start up. And, uh, you know, it's just, a, I guess, a regular 3.6 V6 type thing. Um, so... I don't know, but you guys can hear it. it runs pretty good. Uh, they got plenty of power, and uh, he really loved this car, and that's why he bought another lacrosse, but he was going to scrap this one. I said, nope, we're going to sell that. And uh, somebody somebody will drive this car. I know, you know, you see that kind of stuff, but honestly, underneath, uh, even though this thing's got a dual exhaust on it, I'll show you guys. It's not, it's not terrible. Uh, you guys can see the frame there. There is... You know surface rust and stuff but it's really not terrible don't know if you guys can really see up in there but uh <laughs> that's how i have the exhaust hung up right now uh, i gotta fix the the weld onto the frame for the exhaust bracket broke off so i'm gonna have to weld that back up i gotta tear off this tire and weld that back onto the frame the frame's not actually broken it's just that weld broke so don't worry, I'm not welding the frame on this. It's not happening. So, um, yeah, overall, not terrible car. And here it's quiet, air conditioning works, heat works, power steering is, is okay. Um, and, you know, it goes down the road and transmission works. So, honestly, I said right now, that's what people are looking for. Just something to get point A to point B and it gets half decent gas mileage so and it'll clean up pretty nicely I think I don't think it's gonna look too too bad it's got high mileage uh, I don't even know how to switch for mileage on this thing that's how familiar I am with these cars here we go yeah 247,000 miles this is not the original motor uh, this is a motor that has Probably 140,000 miles on it now. I think he's put about 40,000 miles on it. And uh, it's been, it's never left him stranded. So that was one thing we can say positive about this car, that's for sure. Uh, I gotta put the window up here. Um, but yeah, these are good cars. If uh, you're looking for a used car and you're in for a relatively cheap car, but you want something that's you know, nice. Well, other than that, not working. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave that for now. I forgot that does not go up correctly. Um, we'll wait about five minutes and then put that back up, but I won't let you guys wait that long. Um, if you guys are in the cheap market for a cheap car that gets that decent gas mileage, get one of these. Um, these are good cars, and I especially like the 3.8. 3.8s are just easier to work on and generally more reliable. Um, so that's at least my recommendation. So stick with your 3.8s for now. Until they, I think they might have finally figured out the 3.6. Of course, I don't even think the 3.6 is really getting produced anymore because we're going so fuel economical, which I guess makes sense in our current economy. So, um, anywho, let's go see. The Suburban. Okay, so the Suburban. Uh, if you have children watching this video, please take them away right now or mute the video. Okay, that's fair warning. This thing is a hunk of shit. Seriously. 
a hunk of shit. Just... It's shit. I've... I've never owned a vehicle that... That displeased me this much. Um... I've never seen a vehicle that hated me as much as this one does. Granted, it has towed a few vehicles now, and it hasn't give, left me stranded or anything like that, but... Man, this thing's just one problem after another, and I regret every day buying this truck. Uh, because one, it can't tow. It squats so bad in the back it can't tow. I can't, I could barely tow the cross. And... I've had nothing but bad luck with this thing, you know? I'm like, okay, I'll fix it up, make it nice. And what happens? It breaks another thing. There's a now a wasp nest in it. So that's always just awesome. And so that's basically, that's ironic because I'm really getting stung by this thing. This motor, it's junk. I put money into this motor and it's junk. Um, it's got a bad rear main seal. And on top of that, um, I put brand new valve cover gaskets because I thought the valve cover gaskets were leaking. Nope. It was the rear main seal. And then I'm driving it back with a cross on the trailer and it starts blowing smoke out the back end, all oil. Uh, it starts blowing uh, exhaust, uh, blue smoke out of the exhaust, all, all oil. So piston rings are shot. And I think somebody ran this motor out of oil a bunch of times. It knocks when it's cold, which pretty common with the 5.3, but it lacks power, has a bad catalytic converter. It's just stung me every turn, every turn. And I'm just so done with this freaking truck. It's got to get out of my life. Um, I miss my old truck so much but I was forced to sell that truck. So, basically. So, this thing is gonna get another motor put into it, unfortunately, and uh, then I'm gonna get this out of my yard. Just gone. All right, so that's been my little ramble, that's my TED talk. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, honestly, it has gotten the job done so far. And I'm not crapping on Suburbans, great trucks, just this one's a hunk of junk, so. All right. See you guys in the next video, and that's pretty much it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.